the lights. Y'all know this is my second bracket. Oh my god, yeah, I'm back. Yeah, sorry about the scare, ladies and gentlemen, about earlier today, but I'm well. I'm here. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Chris. How you doing, Chris? Hey, what's up, Chris? How you doing? Doing well? Oh, I'm here, man. You're, sur you're, you're surviving? <laughs> I'm a lot better. I, I am. Hey, Standing Stones, Thomas. Who else have we got in here? Oh, yeah, yeah don't Barb. forget. Send us some stars. Yes, Barb. Crazy Witch. Yolanda. Yes, Barb. Yeah, we're doing pretty good there. FDL. I saw FDLs in here somewhere. Man, I'm so far behind. But yeah, welcome everybody to the show. Welcome so, welcome. what are we going to do today, kind sir? What's on our agenda? Well, I don't know. know. We, Hello. we had somebody lined up, but we had last minute cancel. So, we're just going to randomly talk about whatever today. And also, we can always get some of the, uh, the crowd here involved. Looks like we got a nice turnout in the chat. Um, always, always, yes, yeah. yes. I wanted to talk about AI a little bit more because we all know that's such a hot topic lately and coming up a lot of what's going on. And I posted on my Facebook page. I don't know. Yeah, I think Grizz, I might have sent it to you. The the Biden and Trump one going back and forth with their little rude comments to each other. Uh, but man, it was a good good show that to show people like, hey, this is what can be done. You know what I mean? It, it, it really is a good view to say, all right, you don't know what's real anymore. You really can't trust anything. Um, it, it just it's pretty scary, pretty scary, because if you don't see it for your own eyes anymore, you don't know if it's real or not. Um, do you see that one? Yeah, uh, you, I have. And, 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 and you, you really can't tell the difference. Why don't you show them that one about the Porter one? About the what? The portal one where the guy is in front of a crowd and he's also got the portal where he can go anywhere in the world and act like he's there, but he's not there. And yep, yep, yep. That, ladies and gentlemen, you know, and I, I talked about this on another show and it just goes, goes to show about, you know, about people's videos and pictures uh, when it comes to cryptids and stuff, uh, how well somebody can actually uh, duplicate something and it, and no disrespect to people's evidence anymore. Uh, what about all the fake masks? Yeah, that too. But Here it is. the holograms is, is so realistic today. It's not like it was like when we first saw holograms, right? Where it would like, you know, in, in the movies were like Star Wars, it would like like kind of like fizzled out or, you know, glitch or anything like that. Ladies and gentlemen, this stuff is like, you cannot tell. I mean, no, I can be, I can be here in my studio and talk to 30,000 people and Did you glitch? Or did I glitch? And I'm buzzing it? out already. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, I glitched. Yeah, it just disappeared for a minute. I was like, did I stop or did you stop? <laughs> no, it's me. I no idea. All right, so I found this. It's called a hollow portation technology. We kind of touched about it on the show the other the other week, um, last week. Let me go to my presents. Video file. Slide. There we go, share screen. And I'm not really worried about the audio in this so much. Oh, you got to play the audio. Wait, well, let me try. Let me hit stop then. Try yeah, again. yeah, you got to play the audio because I want I want I'm everybody to listen sure. to the audio on this. Because I think I got that turned off. Hold on, unmute my site. Because this 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 plays a hand in in the cryptic world, and uh, it's very important. Share audio window. Okay, see if it'll work. We'll find. All right, out. here we go, go ladies and gentlemen. 
I don't hear any audio. Yeah, it's not working on the audio, but that's right. So you see he's talking about it. Let me, uh, I can't fast forward. It's on. Uh, send it to me real quick. Let me see if I can play it. Since you strange. got it at the bottom of your thing. Let me, uh, if yeah. you can remove it and I'll bring my Facebook up. Yeah, because I want to, I want them to hear the audio because it's, it, it, ladies and gentlemen, if you've never seen this before, it, it's pretty wild. Uh, it's just, now don't forget, this video is, is not recent. This is an older video, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. It's just sent it to you again. So. Why is not my Facebook coming up? It's always something. And what is it with Elon <laughs> Musk and the Twitter guy? Are they like having a battle? Like, are they like wanting to duke it out or something? He, he, he is a Twitter guy. You talking about? Um, you talking about Mark Zuckerberg and Meta? Is that who it is? Yeah, it's Facebook. Somebody? Is Mark Mark Zuckerberg with Facebook is creating his own version of Twitter, and he says it's going to be the Twitter killer, and he's basically going at it and going to competition with Elon because. I don't know. I think it's going to be a, a left versus right type of thing after a while, some point in time, to get it up. Oh, I got another thing I want to share, too. Pretty cool. Yeah. Actually, not cool. Right, here I go. <laughs> All right. I, I don't know. I, I thought Elon Musk was involved with it or somebody. but Yeah, he's involved with it, uh, not in what's coming out. I, I guess it's going against him. Most exciting about the hologram effect and hologram illusion industry uh, is the ability to beam anybody from anywhere to anywhere uh, in real time. So what we decided to do was we shrunk these giant holograms. And here we go on buffering. I don't know why it does it on my end. Stage apparatus from big arena stage pieces into what you see right here. This is portal. It's the size of a vending machine. Uh, it fits in the corner of a room, and it beams in a 4K resolution image in real time. You can wow. As soon as he walks up, it says, wow. You can beam anybody from any But you look in the box and you can see, you can even see the shadow. Anywhere, to anywhere, it looks like it looks real. Into the camera, you're looking into your audience's eyes. So if you're an educator or if you're a uh, politician. I like the way you said politician. Or if you're an inspirational speaker or a religious leader. <laughs> right. You could beam from the safety and security of your own. Campaign headquarters or from your own uh, judges chambers or whatever, wherever you are into anywhere that you need to be in real time. So I can distribute portal with hologram machines to any country in the world. And in real time, you could beam from wherever you are into as many places. Uh, at the exact same time. Uh, each portal has an audience facing camera so that when you beam in front of audiences around the world, the camera uh, sees the audiences. So I'm here with you right now. However, if I wasn't, I would still be able to see you. He knows that, yeah, he knows that actually, uh, it actually, when he's in that box, it actually casts his own shadow as the well. Shadow. Did you notice that? Yep. Yeah. So, ladies hey, and gentlemen, you get the full three dimensional if Chris, look. If, if Chris was going to commit a murder, but Chris didn't commit a murder, he could be set up because now people can say, Well, I saw Chris. So, they actually did not need that, right? Mm -hmm. So, no, man, I think mean, about just, it. If, if AI it has the nice. capability of deep faking and then they have the capability of broadcasting it just like that, hologram wise, I mean, the possibilities are endless, right? Um, I sent you another link, which is pretty, pretty interesting. I know we, we talked about it a little bit off air. Um, if you want to pull that next one up that was on the, the bottom. Yeah, let me close this video out. This kind of gives you a, a visual of what can go on. But an AI is doing this. 
or can do this and they've tested it out, but they can use your home router and tell where you are in the house via the router. Almost like it's a camera. It can, it can literally, I don't know if it's using like a radar or sonar or type of technology bouncing off of what's existing like a bat. And I don't know how, how it's all working, but they they've actually figured out without having any kind of camera, they can even through walls, they can tell where you are in your home. You see it? I don't have no sound on it. Yeah, but it's not, don't have any sound. Um, I'm trying to find the sound button. It's, I don't see a speaker. It's at the, it's at the bottom right corner of the box where they're talking. Mm -mm. Cause it's on Instagram, I think. Yeah, it's not. Pull it, pull nothing. it, pull the screen. Oh, it's not even playing it or. No, it's playing. Uh, I think it's making me sign in. That's why uh, into Instagram. Hold on. I think that's why. Yeah. It's yes, not that that's necessary, what it was. but it's kind of showing you. He talks right, about no, it. We that's can, what we it is. Did you get into it or here we go. No, I had, yeah, I had to sign okay. into Instagram. That's why. Let's see here. looking at the space with people in it um, that's sort of like coming in from one eye the other eye is the radio signals so sonar from the uh, wi-fi router and they just learn to predict like this is where the human beings are then they took away the camera so all the ai had was the language of radio signals bouncing around a room and this is what they're able to reconstruct real-time 3d pose estimation right so suddenly ai has turned every Wi-Fi router into a camera that can work in the dark, specially tuned for tracking living beings. So what they did is they had, um, you know, a camera looking at a space with people in it. Um, that's sort of like coming in from one eye. The other eye is the radio signals, so sonar from the uh, Wi-Fi router. And they just learned to predict, like, this is where the human beings are. Then they took away the camera. So all the AI had was the language of radio signals bouncing around a room. And this is what they're able to reconstruct. Isn't that crazy? Real-time 3D pose estimation, right? So suddenly AI has turned every Wi-Fi router into a and camera. That's just, that's just looping. Specially yeah. tuned for tracking living I wanted to play it again. So what they did. I wanted everybody to make sure they heard it since I missed the first few seconds in the beginning of it. It is crazy. So, I imagine that. I mean, know. It, it, it means AI can see you if you have your router on. You're, you think you're, you know, safe in your own home. Nobody can see you. Got the shades drawn close. No, you might want to think again, right? Go unplug the router too. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's what it's coming to. It's wild. Mm -hmm. It's wild. Yeah. Did you find any videos that we were talking about before the show? Nah, I didn't see anything worthwhile, so I, I was kind of kind of leave that we off. We're trying but, to um, look at uh, for videos with AI with uh, claiming to be Bigfoot or you know Sasquatch, but the ones we're seeing on Facebook are are the ones that are black and white photographs with Indians and indigenous people, and but we know those are fake, right? But yeah. we're yeah. waiting to see. Uh, the, we, there is a new software that Microsoft's coming out with, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, that's going to catch a lot of uh, paranormal people that are going to see if they're fakes or not. Oh, yeah? That it's What's going that? to layer their uh, their videos to see if they're faking their, their ghost hunting videos. So if they're like layering their videos to, you know, to fake their apparitions and what they're catching. Mm -hmm. So that's huh. going to be interesting. I didn't even know they could do that. That's crazy. Yep. Yeah, yeah. FDL was telling us about that the other day on one of their shows. So, yes. 
So that's going to be interesting to come out. Uh, so we're going to see how many people are going to be debunked on that. So, yeah. But uh, there's one lady I, I felt sorry I got tagged in. Uh, I forgot which group it was. She has got a three-toed uh, creature in the Ozark. And um, let me see if I can. Three-toed creature in the Ozark, yeah. huh? Yeah, let me but, see if I can there, There's supposed Facebook. to be some, some kind of cryptid that runs around in the Ozark. I can't remember the name of it now. But they, uh, they tagged me because it looked like a goat man trying, but the photograph she captured of the alleged creature does not look like the goat man, but the track looked like a track from a reptile alien. So... Huh. And I haven't seen one of those in years. Wow. So let me see nice. if I can find. Yeah. And I should have had that spooled up, but I've been, uh, you know, preoccupied this afternoon. Let me just type oh, so my yep. name in and see what comes up. In post. Ozarks, uh, the Let's beginning of the bo the Boggy Creek Monster is from the Ozarks. Did not know that. Let's see here. But somebody tagged me into it, and they were like, hey, uh, check into this. Oh, I got way too many posts. Never mind. <laughs> let me, yeah, that's, do not type my name in for that. Let me type in post. Let me narrow it down. Well, no, okay. But anyways, it's a it's a three-legged uh it's it, it, it's about the size, almost size of a Bigfoot track. And uh but it what was weird is that when she tape measured it, everybody was making fun of her and I was like, and I mean she she really got hell bent. And she got really upset. She was like, "Hey, hey Russell, how you doing? Welcome to the show." And uh and somebody tagged me in involved at it because it was Goat Man and because I have Greg Yost's Goat 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 Man tracks, yeah. right? The cast, right, right? Yeah. And uh, and the picture of what she's got doesn't look like a Goat Man in in the bush. Once again, it's in the bush. And but the print reminds me of a reptile alien. It it basically to just make you all look discreet, make you all picture what it looked like. It looks like a dinosaur footprint. Is what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like, but shrunk, and that's why I say it looks like a, a reptile alien or alien reptile footprint, however you want to call it. But I wish I could pull it up, but I've got so many notifications right now because I've been tied up this afternoon and I missed a couple of shows, but. Um, why don't you, I did uh, reach out to her. Pull, pull up, pull up a search on uh, gator footprints. I wonder if that's similar to what you're talking about. But no, I already me. did. But there's usually another extra couple claws in there for gators. It's usually five. Because they're not two or three or anything like that, unless they're missing some fingers. <laughs> you said it was three legged, right? Is that what you said? Three toed. Three toed. Three toed. Okay. Three toed bipedal. Yes. Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe it was those little, what were we talking about the other day? The little dwarf aliens or something that were, they weren't Elementals. calling them aliens. Though. No, they weren't calling them aliens. It was somewhere. You talking uh, the, the goblins? <laughs> yes, the goblins. <laughs> but they were like so considered made... little and shiny. Yeah, I don't. But here's what Chris is talking about. But this is nowhere near what it looked like. So this is nowhere near what it looked like. It didn't even look like this. 
that I mean, it was even weirder. It was it it had the the toes were like up here separate. It 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 looked it was it looked like a dinosaur pretty much. Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> so I got I'm sending you a picture via Messenger of a cast print that kind of reminds me of what you're talking about from David Sheely. I just sent it to you. you. You can share that. He's got it on display down at his, uh, his place down in the Everglades. And I've seen it in person. The thing is, it's a big cast and that's actually four toed, but it almost to me almost looks reptilian, but there's no telling. What the hell is walking around on this earth right now? Now, in Ozarks, don't they don't do they have alligators in the in the Ozark in Arkansas? I don't think so, but you know we have, they found alligators in weird places too. So let me bring up my Facebook again. You know, somebody might have a uh, pet that let go. <laughs> I don't know how long the Ozarks are. Is what Missouri, Arkansas, isn't it? Arkansas. I could I mean, be wrong. I think it, I think it's a part. That's yeah, Arkansas. Almost similar. See what I'm saying? Hold on, I'm gonna get this comment off the screen. Almost similar. That's a big print. I mean, he chalks that up to the skunk ape prints. So where we're at uh, in mid Florida, we see five toe. But he, he comes up with these four toes down that south, down further south at least. Just who knows? I mean. It's hard to tell. Do that it could be one that's missing a toe. That's a weird spread, though. You know what I mean? But walking around in the Everglades, it is. Know, it it is. But it evolves. Answer is yes. I, so. I checked if there's uh, any gators in the York, Ozarks and or, or alligators in Arkansas. Uh, Barb just sent me a, a post. Hold on. Maybe this is just the lady that, yeah, it looks it looks almost like a lizard, Yolanda. That's why I said it looks like a, a reptile alien. Dinosaur. Uh, type. Yeah, hold on. Let me bring up my face. Well, I don't know why my Facebook keeps closing. Find a raptor prints. But, the, but they're bigger than a raptor print, though. Okay, Let's see here. Right, for <laughs> One way or another, I don't want to meet that. Yeah, that's the that's the article, Barb, that I was uh that was the one I was uh tagged into. So she's found it. But uh, the poor girl, like I said, she got made fun of pretty hard. There's no reason for all that. So here's here's the heel, and there's the toes. Yeah, it is. I don't know, it's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex freaking print. <laughs> that, that's really weird. See the heel, then the toes. But uh, it, it's kind of hard to see. But you got a toe here, a toe here, the toe here, but that's the heel part. And the heel part, if you look right here, looks like the goat man heel. And see where the where the where the 
three balls are, then the toes come out. Mm -hmm. And it's like I said, it looks more like a dinosaur print. Because then she takes a tape measure. See how she measures it across. Mm -hmm. But the, this is now this is the picture that she's got is not the same picture of the same. The date, the, the tracks are recent. The picture is a couple years old of what she oh, gotcha. what she got. She does not think that this is related. OK. But they're Just trying to figure out what, right? But this, it's in the same area, and people are making fun of her because you know there's a lot of things in the Ozarks that people are seeing that are not you know because there's what, hundred thousand square miles or something, yeah, I think. Don't, don't quote me, ladies and gentlemen. You have to Google it because I because I, 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 I think she actually. Well, hold on, we got the article right here. Uh, back in 2021, uh, she's asking, I don't know what to do to call this more look scary, but as we were back there in 2021, uh, so many unexplained creatures, uh, and I'm not going to read the article, show the article on here because it, 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 it kind of crucifies her and it, 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 it kind of really made me upset and not PM the lady because I was going to show her what I have. Uh, yeah, Thomas Reptilian. But uh, it's like, you know, the lady was just like, look, this is what I got. Does anybody know what it is? I mean, she wasn't out here saying, you know, this is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Look what I got. You know, it's more like, what is it? Yeah, what do you exactly. all think? Right. right. But, uh, I mean, she and she went off. Hey, and she pretty much called them chicken SHEs. You know, get your butt over here and let's go out there and see how far you walk mm -hmm. out here in the Ozark. You know, and I mean, she called him out. And I, I mean, I'm glad she did. But, yeah, you know, it covers it, it covers 50,000 square miles. What's that is huge. So that, that's that's a very, very large. Is that what 50, it is? 50,000? 50, I was only yeah. off by 50,000. So, yeah, uh, still, that's some, that's very impressive. But, you know, we, we get a lot of reports, a lot of people that get a lot of strange creatures from there, a lot of unknown animals that they don't know what they are or, or hearing things or, or whatnot out of that area. So uh, now I don't know the backstory of, of her picture. I didn't I don't know if that was in the article or not. Uh, I don't. I, I want to go by memory, and if I'm wrong, Barb, correct me. She took a picture and didn't realize it till she got home, and one of her friends saw it, or something like that. And uh, but in the same area, she went back uh, recently, and that's when she saw the footprints or the tracks, and it freaked her out because she don't know what it is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if I saw something like that walking around in my backyard, yeah, I think I'd be kind of nervous, too. I mean, I don't know what it is. And, you know, if everybody's out here claiming that they see Bigfoot and Dog Man and other cryptids and, and I belong to a group, yeah, I probably want to mm -hmm. share my tracks and be like, hey, what do y'all think about this? Any ideas? I like that so, you called them out yeah. and said, come on, come on out and join us if you're so tough. Because <laughs> a lot of people won't. Yeah, you know, I we're tracking around in the in the green swamp in Florida, which is huge. And I looked that up. That's only five hundred and sixty square miles. So fifty thousand square miles. I couldn't even imagine. That, that's that's just enormous. That's one one large large area. So I'm sure. No. It gets yeah, there's quite a bit. there's a lot of reports come out of there. And there's a, somebody I talked to was on one of the shows or something that there's a lot of reports that are coming out of the swamps down there in Florida. I mean, are, are y'all getting a lot of reports down there? Yeah. I mean, it, it, it happens. Um, we haven't personally gotten too many, but we, we make our way around. I mean, we, we see a lot of different activity areas. It just, you know, it's hard to catch the big man. He's a uh, world champion, hide and seek. You know, he, he has the belt, so it, it's hard to get catch him and 
come across them. If you do, it's a, it's a very short stint. Um, we had somebody down south in the Everglades actually just have an experience just this past weekend. So we're trying to get more details as they're coming out, but apparently a fingerprint across a, a car. So they're dusting the prints and, and everything. Um, so I saw a few of the pictures, but I'm, I'm not going to share that until it got, gets a little further along and a little more story to it. But yeah, there's, yeah. there's definitely a lot of activity in Florida. Florida is like the number three in the, all the states as far as reports. And I'd guess either Kentucky or Washington are probably the other two. I think Kentucky is supposed to be mm. number one, maybe. Yeah, Barb says, plus she got feelings of dread, and this woman uh, goes out there all the time. She's not scared normally, so. But, yeah, so. Yeah, we don't need yeah. any drama, right, Barb? No drama on Facebook. <laughs> She's like, people yeah, are mean on Facebook. Yeah, they, I agree. I'll call yeah, them out, too. When people, make, people make comments on there. I think somebody made a comment on one of our, or somebody else's page, the other day and Marie posted it and he was like, well, I don't get, you know, what are the researchers out there doing if they know that Bigfoot exists already? You know, they've got the DNA proof and all that. And I'm like, well, that's just you assuming that we're out there to prove that he exists or they exist rather than why, you know, there's a whole nother spectrum there that you're completely overlooking. So, and, and I called it out and I went on the, on the site and said it. And of course I didn't get a response back because I probably, you know, didn't, didn't like it, but some people get on there and they, they put their two cents in and, you know, there's no, there's no need to be nasty and mean about it. If you're, if you want to know why you just ask, say, Hey, why are we doing this? Or you know, what's the reason you will tell you, you know, but to, to ridicule somebody that's, there's no need for that. Yeah, so even in her post, she said, I've been hesitating to share this, but I feel the need to. I found these three large toed dinosaurish looking footprint Monday in the same place that took a photo of this horn, whatever it is, back in 2021. I hesitate to call it a demon, but that's exactly what it looks like to me. I don't know. I was visiting this spot in 2021. I start panicking for no reason. I just feel uh, just a feeling of doom. I was full of, uh, photographing pictures of an odd rock stack, unknowingly capturing something peeking through the bushes at me. My friend Nancy spotted whatever it was, my photos. And then the footprints of this cryptid demon, whatever it is, is very odd. I don't know what this thing is called, but scary looking. May just feel extremely unwelcome. As we were there and back in 2021. So yeah. So see, she wasn't out, she wasn't, you know, you know, proclaiming well, she, what it is. She you know. yeah, and she explained herself really well. I, mean, I don't see why people would have any kind of I don't know. You know, you know how people are. Oh yeah. That's how they are. They just that they like to ridicule people. So it sounded like she left it pretty open ended to me, so yeah, I didn't see nothing wrong with her pose. Barb's uh, squatches are nudist. Oh, geez. Here we go, Barb. I'm talking about clothes on, on Sasquatch. <laughs> keep it keep out of the gutter. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, also uh, was... Uh, talking to the guy over in UK that you all did the show with and, uh, awesome. and I was talking to somebody else and uh, and then was a Jennifer she was talking about that uh, Bigfoot are slaves allegedly on earth some of them are that was on our show Oh yeah. so you know and there goes that theory again so I don't know you know, I, I, mean, haven't, people, I haven't heard that one too much. Uh, slaves to who? Uh, Barb, you have to help me out that they were brought here as slaves and they developed us as slaves. And 
and let go of some of the Bigfoot, and the, some of the Bigfoot are still slaves to these aliens, and so that uh, sounds like I just arrived right on time, Rebecca. Oh my lord! You always come in just at the nick of time, don't you? Barb throwing stain of stones in the gut or in the in the in front of the bus because of the whole uh, driving this thing in the ditch. Yeah, they're, they're Grizzly. Fine. I heard that again today. Saying, yeah, I know. It seems like even Val's heard that before that they came from another planet, and uh, so I don't know. It seems like that that theory is gaining popularity. I don't know. I don't know what to think. You know, I don't mean, there's the there's the theory that I don't know about so, a whole hollow, hollow earth or, or not, but there's definitely many government. You know, whistleblowers that have spoken about working underground with not only uh, aliens and greys, but Nephilim, Nephilim as well. And if you mention the word Jesus, God, you, or God, you, I mean, you can't even stub your toe and say it by accident. They, they make you sign a contract not to say it. So that, that's a little unusual, right? Um, you know, that, yeah, non disclosure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's there's things that go on that we don't know of. That's for sure. Now, what they're slave of, I don't know. But there's the human aspect to them, though. They're half human, half what, and the other half what is what we don't know, and that's the big question mark. And maybe uh, I've heard some people say that they feel like they're here to help save us in the end. So maybe yeah. that maybe that half human could be the save savior for us a little bit you know what about dog man what do you think about it are we gonna go down that what what barb say the other night that started you in this one <laughs> it could it could be uh demonic i think i don't, I don't, I don't know anything, i don't think there's anything good about them to be honest with you i start thinking you, you start talking about the sw word and and Things that might either shape shift or, uh, yeah. But yeah, I adult. didn't say you had to say that word. Then don't start <laughs> saying all those words. I didn't say it. I said the, the letters. <laughs> anyway. Oh my gosh. Are, are your doll's eyes glowing yet? <laughs> no, but they're all looking at me. Uh, yeah, I bet. But they stare at you the whole time. But I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, that, that's another one that I, you know, it, it's got me more, always wondered about. I always ask Sean Michael Chris about it. You know, I mean, I mean, a lot of people say they claim to see it, but, you know, some it's, people. It's not, it, it's not as frequent as like Bigfoot or anything like that. It's definitely less, less of a frequency, but. I don't know because I haven't heard anything like a dog man yelling at somebody and just scaring them to leave it's usually people are even more terrified when they come out of a dog man experience from what i've known and heard of um i don't know i mean you don't get too many warm and fuzzy stories like some people we know barb <clears throat> you know with you know dog men living in the background hanging out and you're, you're feeding them treats or whatever what you know you just don't hear any of those stories it's bigfoot you'll hear some of that but Dog means usually just not a good, doesn't have a good reputation. So. No, they don't. Uh, Thomas, I believe dog man learned to walk upright through evolution. But see, so dog man and werewolves, is it werewolves or is it dog man? Well, I can't remember now which one when they stand up, the bones crack. The werewolf, I think. Was that the werewolves, the bones crack? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. Is there, I, always, I would just say they're one and the same, but I don't know. Are they? I mean, werewolves supposed to be a human that, well, at least their older legend was the human turns into a wolf, but I don't know if that's still the case or that's just movie <laughs> from back in the day when I was a kid watching Dracula and Werewolf. Clinton for punishment. Uh oh. There we go. I don't know. I must have missed that. I'm not going back and reading that one. <laughs> oh, it's Dogman. You're right, Tom. It's Dogman. When Dogman stands up, is the it? bones crack and pop. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, that's what Sean Michael Chris says. 
werewolves do not. Okay. And that's where a lot of report says when it goes to stand up on, on its hind legs, people freak out because it sounds like bones cracking. I want to know who knows this for sure. <laughs> uh, for, allegedly, I want to know. It's where, where is the proof of that? I mean, I, I'm not going to sit out there with no tape recorder and be like, are you dog <laughs> man or werewolf? Hold on. Are your bones popping? Bone <laughs> yeah. I right. mean, I hear bones popping. I probably done passed out. I probably done eight. I'm probably their dinner. Yeah, yeah. You have firing off your your rounds by that point. Right. Uh, suppose man, dog man is dog man. Totally werewolves or humans that transform. Right. There we go. But dog man or dog man is the ones that uh, pops pops their bones or sounds like their bones are breaking when they stand up. And then we had that security footage three years ago of that alleged uh, dog man or werewolf that's walking in that uh, siesta town. It was at Puerto Rico or that Hispanic town and walk through the center of town to that chain link fence. That is what? That oh, yeah, you have. It was, uh, it, it, was, it was on national news. I don't watch news. I can't stand national TV. It was all over Facebook. Oh know. man, hold up! I gotta get a picture of it because it looked like it, it was. It looked like it was. It looked like it was starving to death. Uh, I'm gonna go I to saw. I here. saw a weird one like walking right in front of a corn, looked like a corn field or something right, right by a cornfield. But that I thought that was more of a chupacabra. I think that's what that one was. Let's see here. Dog man by fence. And of course, I'm going to go look for it, and it's not going to pop up. Why does it never work for me when I want to do it? It's pulling up a bunch of damn kids' toys. <laughs> it is. Now, I tell, the one they, I tell you the one they took off the Internet, and, I, and you can't find the video, is this one. Now, I don't know if they ever debunked this one or not. I'll blow it up. And uh, it was on there for a while. And you, you cannot find the video. And ladies and gentlemen, if it's debunked, let me know if it's debunked or not. Because this is before AI came out. But this is where they actually caught one running at, at the guy. Alleged dog man. And this thing was muscular and big. Now, this is just a still shot of the video. The video's gone. It, it's been erased off YouTube and everything. So I try to track down the video for like two or three days. I was going to show it on one of our shows. But if hey, you why, remember why this. Videos get erased all the time off of YouTube. Yes. Like that. I, that I have no idea. You know, there was one of a, um, that looked like what I would call a rake. This was... 2000, maybe the end of 2020, 2020, and it popped up on the internet for maybe a week. And I was just kind of getting another group a little bit, and it actually got posted in our in our Bigfoot group, and it got taken down quickly. And it was a bunch of guys kind of screwing around, and they're walking over, and they're out in the middle of the desert, and I want to say like Arizona or Texas or something like that, but there was a, a river running through and some dudes out in the middle of the river and they were walking up or you can tell they're drinking out and having a good time at nighttime or whatever. And they're like, Hey, what? you know, they thought of their friends out there drinking and, you know, took their clothes off in the middle of the river. And, and then the, this thing kind of, they shine a light and it turns around and stands up and turn around and looks at them and skin smooth. And it was the creepiest damn thing you ever seen. And, it was weird because it literally, within a week, that video was gone and I could never find it again. And I knew exactly the words that were used to post and it just got wiped out completely. That just drives me crazy because they're like, all right, why are, why are they hiding that? See, I can't but, find the picture. I, I typed in werewolf. I typed in dog man walking by fence. But anyways, I don't know if it was in Puerto Rico or somewhere. 
but it was a CCTV. Well, here here's part of it. It's werewolf captured on secure camera. Here's one of the pictures. But this is uh all right, let me share this one. But this is this is the one where it was walking through town. This it's got a better picture somewhere where it actually it's got it faced and towards the other end. Holy cow, man, I never saw that. Yes. No, but it's wonder, got another it picture CGI? where it's no this one it's not because this one's older now this one is actually if you look at the shadow and stuff on it but it's got a better picture of it facing the other way uh and it walks up to a chain link fence because the whole town freaked out uh when that when it got caught so, but it has the bend on the legs and everything. But remember, I remember the 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 paw print I was showing you all in, in, our, in our private chat. And remember how we said it couldn't. Now look, now look at the bottom of its on its foot on mm -hmm. the paws. So that's what I'm saying. So, but once again. Is that real or not? So, but there's another one where it, it it's a better picture where it's walking at the other end of town and it walks is right up to this chain link fence and in the whole town and I mean the police, nobody went out at dark. The police would patrol at nighttime for like weeks trying to see if they can, uh, it was at a zoo, the Facebook is that what it was? Was it, was it around a zoo or at a zoo where this happened? Brazil, Thomas says. Yes, it was. Let me let me type in Brazil. I said Puerto Rico. So let me type in Brazil and see if that helps. Brazil. I knew somebody would recognize it. Yeah, that brought up a bunch more pictures of the same image when I type in Brazil. But not the one that uh, with the chain link fence. Brazilian werewolf. So, yeah, that one was in Brazil. Okay. Maybe the one I'm thinking was a different one then, but I thought it, I thought they captured it at the other end of town when it walked up the chain link fence. But yeah, but it, but yeah, it, it caused a big ruckus. So oh. yeah, there's no uh, there's dog man has a short tail. Werewolves do not. Didn't know that. Really didn't pay attention to that. So. If a dog man and a werewolf got in a fight, who would win? Well, I gotta stick around yeah. and watch that. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think that one's just the clip. Ooh, let me see if this got it. Yeah, it's just the. I found the same one. It's just got the image of it. Dang it. Oh, well. It'd be interesting to see that one, but. Is what it is. They get scrubbed. They get scrubbed all the time. What are they hiding? The fact that they're. But you know that at. that is weird because they, they, when it comes to certain things like that, the videos that do come out, they don't stay out there long. They do get scrubbed, and it makes you wonder why. Well, I mean, if they don't want you to know about it. There's got to be a reason, right? What people can't handle the truth. Is that what they always try to tell everybody? I don't know if that's the case, though. I think people can handle more than they give credit. So just like the whole alien and, you know, oh, you know, public find out they wouldn't, they'd freak out. They couldn't handle the truth. Well, they've already told us soft disclosure. 
the aliens are real, supposedly. Did people freak out and go crazy? Yeah, they already said that I, I, during COVID, so. Right. But I don't think anybody panicked and went nuts. It's, it's just an excuse. Bad excuses they usually give us as far as I'm concerned. Stanny Stone says he heard Bigfoot will protect people from dog men. See, I don't know. See, I don't know. I don't know if they would or not. <laughs> Pansies are real. <laughs> yes, Call no, me a right. pansy. I am a pansy, <laughs> I guess. So... But, you know, seeing tracks like that and seeing what, what your buddy had, you know, there are things out there that do walk upon this earth that makes you wonder. Yeah, we've gotten tracks, too. I mean, our average tracks, and when we find them, they're 16, 16 and a half, 16 and three quarters long and about six inches wide. And the base of the heel is about four inches wide. And we find them. And you know when you see them, you're like, you know, unless I don't even know if uh, you know King James, the basketball player, walking around barefoot out in the middle of the swamps is is likely. It, it'd be very far fetched, and I don't even know if he would match up to those statistics on those those footprints. So it just uh, it makes you wonder. Mm. So cool now it's now I looked at uh, there's there's plenty of uh, charts out there you can Google and get like you know non encrypted uh, tracks and so forth and I try to compare her the non encrypted tracks couldn't find anything but what it looked like hers mm -mm, no what it looked like hers was and I try to find the reptilian alien footprint that I saw years ago and that's what it looked like but you google that and for some reason that doesn't come up anymore so <laughs> why is that is it just not searched anymore or is that something that's being scrubbed too it's probably been scrubbed and you really know it's been scrubbed if you ever go back and use um You've used the time machine, right? The um, can't remember the dang name, name of it, but it basically it's snapshot in time of the web. Um, can't remember the name. name I'll, I'll think about it here quickly. Dang it! What did I just do? She says you use Quint browser. Never heard of that or Quant browser. I used to use DuckDuckGo and oh, something it's, else. It's called Wayback Machine. So a Wayback Machine is a, 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 a catalog of the Internet. So if you go and pick a website like BFRO, for example, and you give it the year, all right, this I want to see what BFRO had back in 2008, and it'll show you everything almost like a timestamp of what that website had then it's like a snapshot in time of history of websites and then you can go further in time to see how things have changed or where or back in time and then it'll give you the months that are, that are updated and sometimes it also has to have people kind of request the snapshot in time but we're finding things that are going on in these snapshots that are being erased too that we knew were there like they won't oh, just scrub wow. it they won't just scrub it from the internet now. They'll scrub it from the internet and the history of the internet. And that's the only thing that considered basically is like that is the Wayback Machine. It's pretty cool. If you ever try to play with it, it's neat. So you, you can go back. A lot of things are, are left alone, but obviously if there's a, a reason for it to be scrubbed, they're going to scrub it. Amazing. Amazing. I have to mm -hmm. check that out. Thanks for letting us know about that quant. I guess that's how you say it. Is that how you say it? Quant? 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 Where is quant? That? Quant, yes. It's quant. Quant browser. 
What's that do? I missed it. It better not be something honoring. Oh, I don't know if I trust these guys and pull it up on mine now. <laughs> I might get a virus. <laughs> <laughs> Quant browser. I think it's just like a actual browser. I use uh I use Brave most of the time. Yeah. It's Norma Q -W -A -N -T. says no, it's good, it's good. It's Q W A N T. Thomas says a doll's laughing again. Yeah, they they probably are. I, I'm afraid to Google anything. The last time I Googled something live, I embarrassed myself. I put the wrong <laughs> word in in front of it. That's why I don't do it live anymore. So, uh, Crazy Witch says, I've seen things scrubbed right in front of my eyes. I was looking at Civil War stuff and the page changed. I got pics. Wow. That's oh, they, crazy. They have scrubbed stuff and, and that's been known. Uh, there was a guy who was, I don't know if you ever heard of him, um, Dutch Sense is his name on YouTube. And some people might know of him, but he tracks a lot of the earthquakes throughout the world. And he has this really cool um, just tracking system. So he's literally predicted earthquakes by the amount of tremors in areas. I mean, he tracks them really well. But he also tracks other things. And matter of fact, the remember the fires that came up in Canada? And I sent you um, a little picture of uh in the oh, end yeah. of all the fires in canada starting all the exact same time so it was obviously a planned arson i mean it, it, it's no other way to happen just randomly happen like that well that's the same guy who does all this other stuff well he's caught evidence of harp and the um apparently energy um weapons or whatever they're doing messing around with and a lot of people uh, speculate that is happening from the antarctic but they can cause tremors and other things um, but there's actually they've caught radar images of clouds of like just a blanket of clouds all of a sudden have like a spiral in it and then then it goes away and they've actually he's sat there and watched the loops of them then all of a sudden the radar loops will get completely wiped as he's showing it live like look at this and he just happened to catch it. he's in there watching tremors or something going on and he'll catch other stuff like that happening and, I, and i've sat there and watched one of them and he he literally watched it while it happened live and then he watched it get scrubbed live they literally like wiped out all the radar and there was no clouds anymore everything was just gone just like just like that within a matter of probably four to five minutes it's almost like there he's like well apparently they're monitoring me so they follow through with that pretty pretty crazy well, that's stuff, wild. Man. that is that is so what we got going on for next week's show since our um, buddy didn't make it well we got right now we have um marie dumont coming on which is part of our group but we're trying to bring her on and talk to her about other stuff other than bigfoot because she's definitely got a, a large ufo and paranormal background that a lot of people don't know of that's pretty interesting i showed her the video uh, of uh your little I would call it a paranormal experience that you had on the show the other night. Oh, um, the doll! I watched yeah, that seven times. Not even with the and doll. When, when your when your whole earthquake happened. Oh, I didn't uh, even watch. Did, the, did you I watch, even the, watch one? the three ones? Well, you did had you, another. You I know. You, I know you doll? had you had three that jumped at you or something, right? That's the only, did, I knew did you, that. Did you, did you see the doll that got ripped out of my hand? No, I still haven't seen that one yet. Oh, I gotta go back and see that. So one. yeah, oh yeah, you got you got to go back and see that one because you I watched it seven link, times. I don't know, I don't know which one it because, is. Because yeah. uh, I mean, it, it literally freaked me out because it. I mean, it was like being tugged, and I went to tug back on it. So yeah, 
Wow. So that that was pretty wild. So yeah, that was uh, interesting. But anyway, she's got some paranormal background. Um, she's got UFO, but she used to be a UFO type of chaser um, back in the day. But she's got a lot of cool stories and fun lady to talk to, other than Bigfoot even. So we have a good good guest with her, and hopefully we'll have to circle back with Old Bear on another night. And then we'll have yeah, some other, Bear we have some is, other guests uh, pretty important. up as well. Yeah, I want to hear what well, he's got to say. Gentlemen, I'll get I you all the link. Which one is yeah, I don't want to speak in behalf of him because that that's how I don't want to say crazy, but uh, it is like mind blowing. I can wild it's, stuff. It's just, huh? Yeah, I mean, you think Randy's wild? So uh, let's see here. I got music blaring in my ear. Let me click on another button here. Uh, let's see here. Your channel. My eyes are like watering up for some reason. I have no idea why. I'm tired. Did you get to sleep? No, I got sleep. They're just watering up. I have no idea why. All right. Let's see here. You know, when they water up, they burn like hell, right? All right, let's see. Where are we at here? Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Norma says the dolls are spritzing you. <laughs> Making your eyes <laughs> burn. <laughs> Don't say that. Freak me out. She got. He's got new dolls. So who All right, here we go. Doing? Yeah, I do. I know, right? Oh, yeah, they're the creepy too were, looking. Are they? You haven't shown me these ones. They're from Japan? Yeah, these are the ones from Japan, yes. Oh, okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me go. Uh, here is the link. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's a link if y'all want to go back and watch the the show. Uh, it show some interactions when I do my seance or whatever you want to call it with the dolls. But but yeah, so yeah, that'd be a good show with Marie coming on. Can't wait to have her see what she's got to say. Yeah, for sure. So samurai <laughs> dolls. Now these dolls, I, I'll pull one off. Here's what one looks like, ladies and gentlemen. And then you're talking about weird looking. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. Hell no. Nope. Nope. That one. That one's going to Salvation or Goodwill. I'm not keeping it. <laughs> Somebody else's problem. <laughs> so yeah, that's just point. one of them. And guess how many came in this one? I don't know why. They're always fours. Hi, Lady so, Wolf. Hello, Lady Wolf. So, sending love. Uh, hopefully, they, they would understand during uh, replay. Yes. So, But no, check it out. It, you'll see me uh, mess myself. And like, because Mike was like, what was that? And I'm like, I, you just have to watch it. So, it's just, it, it, it's it's interesting. So, I'll, because I'll we sat there, because Mike, he put it up on the big screen. He was like, he, because Mike thought I was messing with him. And I'm like, no, I ain't messing with you. And then he said, even the way the doll came out of my hand with force, he said, you can tell the way it flipped and everything, it, and the way it was pulled. How so far he was like, there's it? no was way. Uh, it wasn't that far into it. So, because I was I was talking about the feet, and I and I got my uh, uh, I was telling Barb I got my uh, measurement out now where I can measure the the temperature, the laser thing where you can hit something with the laser and it tells you the temperature. Because so I was right. like, the feet are like ice, like ice cubes. You, you know, ever and, tried using and, a, a thermal camera. Uh, yes, I've got one. Well, I've got two now, but. 
Yeah, I, I, it, 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 it all happened so fast. You know, it's not like, oh, let me think about this. Let me get it out. It was just like weird. And it just like. And everybody was, was like, what? What? I ain't. The small, the small, oh, no. The small one, was no. it? No. No, it was, uh, it was a good was size a doll. I'll say about a nine and a half, ten inch. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. So, so Yolanda is like, say what? Yeah. But watch it out, ladies and gentlemen. We'll catch you on the next show. Hopefully, uh, sure. you enjoy Marie. Marie is pretty good. You, you'll like her. I, th- I think they'll like her. What do you think? Yeah, she's a great lady. Yeah, they'll love her. She's awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, cool coast to coast. Yeah, I think so. And we'll catch you on the next one, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you. What do you think, Chris? See you guys. Peace out. All right. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye.